Well, welcome back to Deponia. I've never actually played this game yet, but it says welcome back to. So, um, what's up guys? It's Fundy77 here, and I'm here to play a game called Deponia. Never actually played this before. It looked very interesting, so I thought I would actually download it and try it out. So, come with me on a journey and see how this is all about. Choose your inventory mode. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I kind of like this one. Okay, all right. Huh? What's this all about? Isn't that Ms. Hinkle's junk press? No, that's the junk press from my trawler. You need to help me fix it. Yeah, but it looks exactly like Ms. Hinkle's junk press from the tutorial in part one. So what? Who's going to notice? Those who played part one don't even need a tutorial. <laughs> yeah, but I bet they're going to play it through anyway, because they just can't get enough of me. Count me <laughs> out. I'm definitely not going to suffer through this whole tutorial thing again. I mean, it was stupid enough the first time around. Ah, come on. A little repetition can't hurt. Then how do you explain this blister? That is where I burned myself when I repeatedly put my hand on a hot stove. You never learn, do you? <laughs> oh, contraire. I have a, a... Do you now? So, do you remember how to use the interface in order to talk to someone? Yes, of course. I... I, I um... Go ahead. Talk to me. Just point the cursor at me and left click as soon as the speech balloon icon appears. No prompting! Uh, talk to Bozo. You don't have to say that aloud. Hey, who's talking to you? Hello there. You clicked on me. <laughs> yeah, and I regret it already. But you see, there's nothing left here that you could teach me. You don't even know, um... I would take how to talk to someone. How to look at an object. But I already know that. I see. And how? I point at it with my mouse cursor and right click when the eye icon appears. Nonsense! That's not an eye. It's a ping pong ball. With a pupil? Yeah, it's loaded. Why would they use a loaded ping pong ball as an icon for the action examine? I'm about to demonstrate that using the small object lying on the ground over there by pointing the cursor at it and right clicking as soon as the ping pong ball appears. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> What's that? It's the reactor lead head. But it was a cathode plunger in the last game. It's the lead head, believe me. You need it to repair the press. And how exactly am I going to do that if I can't even pick the thing up? Sure you can pick it up. Just point at it with the mouse to make the hand icon appear. Then left click to pick it up. Oh no, this has to be easier. <sighs> huh? There you go. Where'd it go? <laughs> you put it in your inventory. You know, where all your items go. You pick the thing up. Now use the mouse wheel to open the inventory. Hey, there it is. Exactly. Now this is your inventory. I knew that. Here you can view all the <laughs> stuff you're lugging around. You remember how to do that, don't you? Look here, Bozo. I fixed the part. I won't believe that until I see it in operation. I know. My handyman skills are really incredible. <laughs> it fits. Next you need to... <laughs> hey, you don't have to spoon feed me. I'll manage the rest. Whatever. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some things. When you're ready, you need to. Hold your horses, will ya? It's just a button. I think I can manage without your help. Rufus, don't. You're standing right under the- Don't panic. You don't think I'd fall for the same feeble gag twice. So, uh, what was that again? I pushed this button here, and then... Didn't look all that feeble to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they good. came out of nowhere with their cruisers, plasma weapons, and mechanical beards. Mechanical beards? Organized. They took our village by force. 
They left nothing behind but tears and heavy. devastation. They were looking for gold and Elysium, the girl that fell from the sky. Interesting. And only one person was prepared to save her. He woke her up, contacted her fiance, and took her to the lower ascension station, only to learn the shocking truth once he got there. Cletus, Gold's fiance, wasn't acting out of love. He had an agreement with Ulysses, the mysterious leader of the Organon. And Argus, his right hand. They needed the Ascension Codes, hidden away in Gold's brain implant. And they wanted to erase her memory. They wanted to make sure no Elysian would ever know that our world is inhabited. For their goal was terrible beyond imagination. They wanted to blow up our world. But they had failed to reckon with the one. <laughs> he swapped the cartridges. Back up. And he restored Gold's memory so that she could bear the truth to Elysium. The name of this one man, this selfless hero, was Rufus. <laughs> All right. Ah, da, 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 ba, ba, ba. Um, that wasn't the whole story, was it? That was the first part. I think it's going to be a trilogy. Sounds a bit unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievably cool. But if it really all happened like that, shouldn't I be on my way to Elysium with Cletus? So what are you doing here? Where is Cletus? Why am I unable to remember any of this? And forgive me for asking, but... Why is there a burning saw blade stuck in the side of the ship? Oh, uh, <laughs> that. Oh, well, I was about to get to that part. So listen up. Da 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 Amazing intro, I like this. You're being pathetic, again about accurate bacteria in the fridge. It's getting boring, but packing bags due to the tea socks I threw to. Clamshade shades order some anodons gone. Didn't I explicate it? Are you still not persuaded? There's grass growing on your time, panic membrane. Remember to pony yourself, sacrifices and oh gosh, not to start all over again. <laughs> Such a cute game. Well done, you gotta say. Trash. Trash. What? And more trash. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hard to imagine I ever wanted to leave here. Ah, Rufus. This is the lad I was telling you about. What? Him? From what you told me, I had imagined a smart young man, <laughs> not a <laughs> filthy <laughs> bum. <laughs> There's more to him than meets the eye. When I first met him, Rufus was still a... How shall I put this? Just say it. I was a self-indulgent slob, but I'm steadily improving. That's right. Right now, for example, he is helping Bozo to get the trawler shipshape. So I am. I was going to ask you whether I can borrow your hammer. No problem. You can take it from my toolbox over there. Thanks, Doc. You're the best. 
I still don't know, really. Something just doesn't seem right about that boy. But Grandma Utz, whatever are you talking about? Hmm. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at there. Ah, once more from the top. Toolbox. Didn't you tell me that he suffers from an exaggerated opinion of himself? <gasps> oh! Those days are over. Rufus has learned a lot. He is much more careful than before. <laughs> oh, cut the bird! Help him, help him, quick, quick, quick! This seems like a brutal thug to me. Rufus, brutal? <laughs> Never. Oh, shit! Oh, poor All thing. All I'm saying is that he seems very clumsy. Your fears are completely groundless. Rufus has become very careful since his last adventure. Oh. I have to flush it. And if he has to <laughs> use the toilet, then he can do that on the trawler. Of course, Grandma. It's just that I have hardly any water left. He's just getting a hammer. I just shocked myself again. Okay. And I can't, I, I can't flush it. Did he even wash his hands? Of course he did. Rufus is very clean. That's good. I have a very limited supply of water. What the hell? Okay. Aren't you worried he might steal something? <laughs> I trust him completely. <laughs> she just stole something. Crap, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to flush this thing. Or at least help him out. Just leave. Just leave. Can I leave? No, just talk to him. Talk to Doc. May I interrupt for a moment? Of course. Did you find the hammer? Well... Not exactly. It's in my tool chest. You're welcome to take it. As long as you promise not to wreak havoc. <laughs> not me. May I interrupt for a moment? Of course. Did you find the hammer? Well, it's in your welcome. As long as <laughs> not me. Skip that. May okay. I interrupt for a moment? Of course. Did you find. Well, it's your welcome. As long okay. as not me. Even if I talk to her, it's still gonna. Do Alright, so. Do I just leave? Yeah, I don't even have a hammer anymore because the hammer, I, I flung it. Okay, so I need to prep you. Put that in the box. Hmm. If that's all true, then he must have turned himself around 180 degrees. There we that's go. That's how it is. As if someone installed a power inverter in him. Oh dear lord, this is going to be bad. And he shouldn't give John Thomas too much to drink under any circumstances. Well, if that's <laughs> all you're worried about. Something like that can kill a little bird. Rufus isn't going to drown your bird by accident. No, I'm not. He would ask before he used my water supply, wouldn't he? Absolutely. <laughs> Good. Good. I have to get by on what I have until the end of the month. Poor little thing. Perhaps I'm worrying unnecessarily. Oh. After all, John Thomas is very good at self-defense. <laughs> oh, Grandma Utz. As if that would be at all necessary. Yes. Oh, hammer. I just hope he doesn't turn my whole house upside down. He's just getting a hammer. How much damage could he possibly do? Hmm. 
was <laughs> Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Crab it. Okay, alright. Fire. Got a tablecloth. Okay. So I need a tablecloth. Pick that. Put it on him. You almost have me convinced, but there is one thing that still worries me. He had better not clog my garbage disposal. <coughs> the blades are so sharp. Things are always getting caught in there. Oh, don't do it. Oh, Grandma. You worry about the silliest things. <laughs> if you promise me that he will be careful, then everything is all right. Just as long as nothing happens to my John Thomas. Promise. Hmm. Then I should apologize. I suppose your Rufus really must have improved. I killed the bird. Well, what do you know? Here it is. Have you found it at last? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. It certainly took you long enough. I hope you didn't leave a mess. Me? No way. But enough chit chat. Bozo's waiting. Just relax, Rufus. It's not like anything's on fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just leave, just leave, just leave, just leave, just leave. He's worthless. Holy shit. <laughs> By the way, what's that funky smell? Rufus, have you gone completely off the deep end? You almost set Grandma Utz's heart on fire. All for a good cause. You committing suicide? No, I'm traveling to Elysium. But Rufus, hell? we've been through all that. I thought you would finally become reasonable. Become reasonable? I am reasonable. And that's exactly why my plan is going to work this time. Oh, what plan no. are you talking about? Well, what does it look like? It looks like a madman's attempt to refute the principle of action and reaction. Close enough. Goodness gracious <laughs> me. As soon as I step on these bellows, the yeah. cork will hit the three targets one by bing, one. Bing, bing. In a spectacular chain reaction, this will cause the rockets to be lit and the safety rope to be cut. I have calculated everything. Just watch and learn. Oh, oh and keep away terrible. from the falling blade if you want to hold on to your fingers. You'll see. I will. Stop it, Rufus. The only thing you will achieve is a spectacular suicide. Don't panic. I've calculated everything. Okay, here we go. Take a good look. Rufus, no! <gasps> oh. <gasps> no, ah. no, 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 no. Uh-oh. Doc, that's not a good place for a nap. The Bunsen burner could boil away the water in the vase any minute. And when the scales pan goes up, it will trigger the guillotine. The fuse is already lit. Doc, are you listening? Wake up! Oh, what a bummer. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Save Doc! Darn it. What do I do? What do I do? What Save do I him. do? Doc. Doc, wake up! Oh, what a bummer. Oh, the, mm. oh wait, how do I stop this? Up. Huh. The gas from the bomb. Unfortunately, it isn't enough to light the gas. That would be a cool party trick. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Light the fireworks as soon as the saw blade is in the air. Then they will create enough spin to catapult me directly to Elysium. At the halfway point, eagles will start to fly alongside me if my sketch is correct. Really? I think I can reach it. Oh, not quite. Must be because of the wind. Okay, all right. So I need to do something. Okay, what do I need to do? What can I reach with my hand? And whoop. There we go. Oof, perfect, perfect body control, as always. Okay, so cut this. Where am I going? Oh, cut, cut the... I'm running out of time! That shouldn't have... Thank you. <laughs> that tickles. Okay, alright. With the right momentum. 
easy and totally realistic. Perfect. Okay. With the black powder re and then mm, there's bound to be an interesting chain reaction. Keep clicking it. Whose outcome is very difficult to predict. What am I waiting for? <laughs> oh, it worked! Oh I god, it hit him right in the freaking face. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Underwater. <laughs> oh my god. Rufus, Rufus. Huh? What? You haven't answered my question. How did you get here? I just don't understand. That's because there is nothing to understand. The whole story is nothing but one big filthy lie. Almost as filthy as Rufus, but not quite. Cletus? Of course it's Cletus. Why would that surprise you? I am not the one who barged in here uninvited. I have come to save my planet. Well done, moron. Gole and I had reached an agreement. I was trying to keep the existence of the Deponians a secret from the Council of Elders so that Deponia could be exploded, but Gole convinced me to tell the truth. We were just about to save Deponia. The escape pod was taking us to Elysium. Now it's useless. We're not going to make it to Elysium, and the Council of Elders will never learn about the Deponians. Bravo, Rufus. That was a stroke of genius. Don't listen to him, Gold. He's lying through his teeth. I don't know. His version does sound pretty convincing. Now, remember, he's lied to you before. The Gold that I know would never have let him get away with it. That's because you only know one part of Gold. The part that is naive and idealistic. The Gold that I know is a fighter who will stand up for what she believes in. But there is a third part as well. And that part sides with me. Isn't that true, Goal? There is no third part. You tell him, Goal. I... I just don't know. I, I can't remember a thing. Of course you can't. Thanks to this flea bag's brilliant intervention, your brain implant has been damaged. It's a habit of his. I I'll fix it. Don't worry. You still don't get it, do you? We have no use for you here. If you really want to hit gold, then jump. We're directly over the ocean. With a little luck, you may even survive the fall. No! No, this isn't right! Oh, come on. Do what is best for gold. I'm what's best for gold! No! Don't! Ha! Uh, nothing. Why? I wonder if... Uh-oh! Woo! No, Gaul! You <laughs> idiot! Gaul! No, 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 no! You blasted idiot! Cletus, help me! Hang on! Don't panic! I'll come and get you! Somehow! Do you finally realize the damage you're doing? Cletus! Don't panic! I'll get you! Why don't I do everyone a favor and kill you right here? I'm coming, Gaul! Hang in there! Where do you think you're going? I'm on my way! Watch out! The rope's going to break at any moment! What are you doing? Did you really think you could get away like that? Say bye-bye, Rufus. Cletus! No! Cletus! Ah! 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 <laughs> oh dear, what have I done? You did something stupid. I still can't believe he really did that. No need to worry, really. He's just like a wombat. He often falls, but he always lands on all, uh, um, all the others. <laughs> I know. What is that noise? Ah! What the? Goal? Ah, uh, don't be silly. If that were goal, the next we could expect. Ah! Rufus. Rufus. 
Ouch. <laughs> Everything's ready for detonation, Bailiff. Acknowledged, Chief Blaster. Anything else? Are there no new instructions? We could start the countdown now. I appreciate your eagerness, but this is not a training maneuver. They do have metal beards. This is about destroying the zone around the Rust Red Sea, before we blow up the entire planet. I see, Bailiff. Stop interrupting me! I know very well what is at stake here. Do you think I wasn't aware of all the implications? It is true. Inspector Cletus has not yet reached Elysium. We can only guess what kept him. But as long as there is still hope that he will complete his task, we need not worry. Until then, I don't want to hear about any countdowns. Do you understand? See the yes, I one of them Cletus <laughs> is going to succeed. <laughs> so chubby. He will convince the Council of Elders that there is no sentient life on Deponia. And if he should fail, then we shall see to it. <laughs> that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Uh, dismissed! I have too many worries of my own to deal with your moral misgivings, so get out! Out, I say! Y uh, yes, sir. Out, I say! Where the devil is Cletus? Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> The most epic tales feature cool depictions of <gasps> saw blades crashed into cable boat walls. The account is all blunt stunned, effective goals unplanned, which surely can't be blamed on Rufus at all. Reckoning up the sun, the best was yet to come. For the end of part one seemed a little too coarse, and to a man we we'll sent him to attend a second chance for a decent happy ending. The grand fling was dancing and boots and so forth. A star with boots and so forth. <laughs> it's so pretty! <laughs> I think I ought to fire my chiropractor. Doc? Huh. We seem to have docked. But where is everybody? Huh. A note from Bozo. That old pirate. I'm just like watching everything right now. Good morning, lazy bones. Doc took gold to his office. Huh. Finally someone who uses his brain. She wasn't feeling all that well. Yada, 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 blood from her ears, blah, blah, blah. You can find me in the tavern. Tavern? Now that sounds promising. Huh, there's something else. Don't forget to go and see Doc. He needs your help. <sighs> Why can't they ever manage without me? You are a lazy piece of crap. Huzzah with boots and so forth. All right, well, I'm going to stop here. I've already gone almost a half hour. And um, this is different. I've never actually, like, I, I, the way they're actually talking, it seems like there is one prior to this. So hopefully, like, I'm not actually starting someplace, like, in a second game. If I am, please let me know. Like, I, I'll, I'll go and I'll try out the first game. But um, this is interesting. I actually do like the comic book style of this. And it reminds me of some old-fashioned games I used to play all the time. So um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are actually enjoying this and as always i will see you guys in the next video take care <laughs>